Hi everyone, my name is the Wolverine Cultron 3 and welcome Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. I I uh well to be honest, this is the game of two like you play as a guy it's basically like a dating simulator and stuff. But but yeah This was last year's um like the game of the year award, so I'm gonna play this game and beat the whole entire game, the full entire game. So you can see me play this for six hours at least. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go. Enter a name. Um, my name is Ethan. Bung. No. Uh, just. I, wait, I can just put down my YouTube channel name. No. Well, just. Just Ethan. Hey. No, wait. I might add. Okay. I guess Ethan. Okay. Woohoo! Hey! I see a no a annoying girl running uh, towards me from the uh, distance. Not one moment. There you go. Okay. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally obvious to any a attention she may draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost... I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you said that like you were thinking about an annoying me that's mean Ethan hey it's not mean um, when wh not when <laughs> well if people stare at you for acting weird then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something fine fine but y you do but you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, Sayori. Eh. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly inspected with other students, making their daily commute. By the way, Ethan, I have you decide on a club to join yet. Wait, sorry. Have you decided on a club to join yet? Sorry. Um, a club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. <gasps> hey, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one uh, in one of our many conversations we uh, where I just just missily go along with whatever she's going on about sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting 
spy on the um, average while spending my free time on games on anime. That's true. That's me. Uh, uh, I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No, no promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm... I'm s surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she's, if she does exaggerate everything inside her head, I don't, yeah. The school day is a ordinary day as everything, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly out at the wall, looking for a ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sarori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. I mean, I would do that to be honest. Hello? Sarori? Sarori, Sayori, uh, must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I looked around and realized that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? That you could join, come to my club, Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. <laughs> Sorry, Sayori is is vice president of the literature club. N not that I was even aware that she had any attentions in lit in interested in literature. Oh god, I'm tired. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show in interest in Oh no. In instead in after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my in interested in instead ah never mind. Interested. I'm I'm gonna just say that. I don't care. In the literature is guaranteed to be less even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyways? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of a airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I, I let out a long slot aside. 
fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And though today marks the day I sold myself for a cupcake. But that's that's a little bit me because I I would do something like that to be honest. But yeah, that's me. Okay. Mm. I dejected falling uh, Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I ra rarely visit being uh, being used for third year cla classes and activities. Sir Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Huh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet meeting you. Sayori says, always says nice things about you. Seriously? You bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. spear. Ah, Ethan. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredible cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! Uh, s sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Yeah, in Japan, basically they only have three years. So, I guess she's just a, a first year. Like, she's a... Meaning she's like... This is her first time in high school and stuff. I believe. I don't know. I don't understand Japan sometimes. She is also the one who may, made cupcakes according to Sayori. You, you can't just ignore her while she's getting moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the, in the, oh god, in the club. Don't, uh, d don't say things like that. Uh, Yuri, who appears apparently more mature and tem timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Net Net uh, ah! Netsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Ethan. M Monica smiles sweetly. Hmm. Okay. We do. N uh, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we're in the same class last year. We were in the same class last year. Monica was prob probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so generously, I don't know, feels a little... Uh, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Ethan. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? I never had tea before. Gonna burst everyone's bu bubbles right there. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Okay. As Sayori mentioned, 
it's been widened so that there is no uh, one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki uh, grabs a wrap tray yeah a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet still feeling awkward I take a seat next to Sayori uh, yeah Natsuki proudly marched back to the table train in hand okay are you ready ta-da whoa Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to review a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with frosting and last pieces of chocolate were used to make gears. I mean that's a smart idea. So cute! I had no idea you were good at baking Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Oh, wait. It's delicious! <laughs> Natsuki talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh. Okay, I turn the cupcake around it in my in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaky glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet in the. In the full of flavor, I wonder if she made it herself. This is good. Thank you, Nit. Uh, thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I. Haven't I heard this? Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did. Natsuki said. Well, maybe. But not for, you know, you dummy baka. <laughs> I want to say that so bad. Okay, I, I feel racist. Wait, is it racist? No, it's not racist. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I give up on uh, Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Okay. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully placed a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Okay. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers give, gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get intim <laughs> intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, 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 that's not... In insulted. Oh, <laughs> insulted. Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the lit literature club? I don't know. Um, I was afraid of that. This question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically pra I, I I was dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed very happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. 
We'll make you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, Literature Club, there you go. It's my duty to m make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could pr probably be a board member f for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politi politics around the major club. Oh my god, true! Okay. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and pop like, you know, that stuff. And how to prepare for events. I, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in, in agreement. Okay. Then I'm surprised there aren't. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club, in the club yet. It might be hard to set up, uh, start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people aren't very interested in putting out all the effort to s s uh, start something brand new, especially when. It it's something that uh, doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Okay. But it makes school events like the festival. Uh, uh, sir. Uh, festival? So, ah, never mind. I'm just gonna call it carnival. I. But easy words. That much more in that much more important. I'm I'm convinced that yeah, I'm convinced that we can all really grow grow this club before we graduate. Okay, right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone agreed. Yeah, agreed. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of in 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 uh influence uh meant uh, I don't know how to say that about literature so Ethan what kind of things do you like to read well uh considering how I little I'll read these past few years I don't really have a good way of answering that Manga? I'm um, a mutter, uh, yeah, quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki suddenly peeks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking and after seeing your sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traced the rim of her teacup with her finger. I don't have that, but I do have, like, my my bowl from cer ceramics, so I could try to do that. Oh, wait. My favorites are usually novels that builds deep and Compact fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them 
is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressed. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed to re reserve and tibet since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep, oh, psychologer, oh no, elements using Emerge Me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so, uh, take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yeah, sure. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yeah, I read a horror book once. I, I, uh, I desperately gaps something I can relate at, uh, relate to at the miniature level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. A uh, really. I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri, for someone as gentle as you. I guess you can say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Oh, so real. Oh, so real. Horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a b brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes stare over to me for a split second. And who the heck texts me? Oh, it's Tom. Really, Tom? I'm, I'm, I'm busy recording. Okay. Oh no! 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 Oh, I didn't read that. Okay. That's right. You you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you the idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind behind last group meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called "Don't Say It Out Loud." And give that back. Fine, fine. Eh, your cupcakes and your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori s <laughs> slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Nats Natsuki, you write uh, you write your own poems. Well. Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? Uh, no! Nasuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. There you go. The truest form of writing is is writing to oneself. You might be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your uh, vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you if you share some of your work, you can set a example and help Natsuki feel comfortable about enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Nets 
Natsuki and Yuri looks at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of your own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. I mean, that, that would be cool. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen them the bonds of the club. Yeah. Isn't that right, Ethan? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on. There's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forward with what's been on my mind the, ti the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with delect eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm! Ethan... You'll... You are all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear... Uh, headed, uh... Dis... Uh... Dis... Uh... Decision... No... Uh, choice... There. When it's... Like this. That... That is if... Writing poetry is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Okay. Yes, I'm so happy! As Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up in the air. Not jump. I'm sorry, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once again, once more. Ethan, I'll look forward to seeing how you impress yourself. <laughs> yeah, can I really impress the class star? Monica with my mediocre, yeah, writing skills. Alright, I already feel the anxiety filling up inside me. Yeah, this is definitely me, to be honest. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Sayori clean up their food. Hey, Ethan, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the class, the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to myself to one of the girls. These girls, I mean. Alright. I just need to make the most of my uh, circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starting with a 
writing a poem with writing a poet tonight. Oh. Oh, here it goes. It's time to write a poem. Pick where pick words you think your favorite class member will like. Some something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Uh horror, passion, graveyard. Um uh, Oh Nestor Green, no. Forget X Oh X Uh Alone? Oh Depress? Oh crap Anyway Extreme Okay. Empty. Oh. Joy. Precious. Um. I don't know who I'm actually picking. I want to pick Sayori, but. Eh. Dark. Okay. She likes, like, cute things. She likes, uh, like, horror. She likes something. Pop up. Oh. Uncontrollably. E anger. Socks. Ex death. Oh. La lazy. Pink. Scar. Oh. Broken. Oh god, this is dark. Skirt. Oh. Tears. Oh god. Sensation. Hope. Dream. Together. Uh, despair. Oh. Unstrainable. Oh, stop! Memories. Yes. Sayori. Hi again, Ethan. Um, hello. Glad to see dinner. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, well I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ethan. I hope this is too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. Sayuri told me you didn't... You didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year's too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you're so, you have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga, manga collection in the classroom. And then Suki finds herself stuck between saying Ma Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! It is. My great papa said uh, anime and. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no one says that to me. <laughs> I was gonna say anime and manga are literature, so mind your own business. Okay. Monica is literature. S swiftly defeat. Natsuki plopped back into into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Ethan always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy uh, busy works without me even asking. Like 
cooking, clean my room. How depend ten, uh, dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is is so me so messy. It's distracting, and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Ethan can be good good friends too. Um Sayori? Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems obvious to the weird situation she just put my me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! Uh, me? Um, no, not, n no, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Siren made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, yeah, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gestures from you is a is a present pleasant, pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Uh, alright. Well here, Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't know, I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. This, this is how, how is this girl accidentally being cute? So cute. Purple hair, y'all! Whoa! I don't know why I'm getting excited. Even though I'm a fat weeb. Hey, pig weeb. Ah. Okay. She even picked out a book she thinks I like. Despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I am through it. I take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I'll look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that's but that doesn't seem yet to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't I can't help but notice her intention expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is um rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature relate by myself like this? I guess I could read always read some of the book some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I decided to close my eyes end up listening into Sayori's conversation with Monica. Well, probably gone to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm? Well, we can't give up. The festival... Finally, I said it right! No, I didn't. Okay. Is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club so 
sounds too intense and intelligible. But it's, but it's not like that, that, that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm? That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even, even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, everybody will... Will nobody will come in in the first place if it's a literature event? So it's important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What, what's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear hear her the liberty. De uh, I don't know. Hearing her like that, there. Huh? That's a good point. In case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I could... I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ah, good thinking. And Suki would love to do that. Uh, you're right. And Suki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't what, what, that wasn't why you adjusted it. Cupcake speak to my creative tummy. Eh, uh, cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyways, we sh need, uh, we need to work at, out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still usually herself but therein lies the unexpected reason I admired her unlike me who has trouble finding any motivation at all Sayori can pick her mind to things and make them come to life I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things I can't help but wonder what it what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! I opened my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Uh, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This is not the napping class. Does does our school have a napping class? You stayed up late again, ain't aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best that's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You still oversleep every day, aren't you? Huh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gone up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even... I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over me. You. I, I, all over you. Huh? Sayori glanced around her, at herself. How is it written all over me? You were cruelly in a rush this morning. Your hair looks... Uh, look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Oh! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. 
there's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And toupees, there's toupees stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe it, wipe off the stain with my finger. But no one would ever notice that. Of course they would. No bo nobody's going to tell you about it because they, they don't want to embarrass you. Unfortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. I'm sorry. It's funny. And you don't even keep your bla blazer button up. Seriously, Sayori? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Uh huh? That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I started to button her bla blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh. Yeah. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is it this one so hard to close? I struggle, I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Uh, if you ever button it, you would have noticed it sooner that that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs are got bigger again. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, uh, why doesn't it feel strange to see Sayori's? Yeah. Okay, let me read this again. Why doesn't it feel strange to see Sayori's bl blazer button up like that? Ugh, I don't know. But so stuffy. Uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> it's not worth it at all. Sayori hasn't unbuttons her blouser blazer once more. Phew! That's mu that's so much better. Sayori puts her arms across and twists them around. So if I keep it unbuttoned then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that? like it's a good thing because if I had a boyfriend then he wouldn't ever let let you do things like this and you take care of me better than anyone else would anyways so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned stop saying stop saying all these embarrassing things huh I didn't say anything embarrassing jeez well anyways just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. What if you focus on going to bed early? Fine, fine. It's a deal. Yay! <laughs> I guess we are we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Huh, I guess so, huh? So might so maybe you should Come wake me up in the morning. You're you're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with. It's possible to tell you with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Uh, Monica suddenly calls out. Why? Why? 
Ah, uh, here it goes. Uh, why doesn't... Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Ethan, I can't wait to read yours. Uh, same. I failed to sound... Influence, yay. But Sayuri still trots away to receive her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. Relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I could really find much, uh, find much inspiration since I never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica in, uh, put up their poems. Sayori's is all a wrinkle she of loose leaves torn from a spare cold nor notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote wrote hers in a com com ah uh, god compo uh, com per precision um notebook. I can already see Monica's per, uh, handwriting from where I, I sit. Nasuki and and Yuri relaxed complain as as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same at myself. No, we're doing Sayori to be honest, because she she has been our friend the longest time. I'm definitely more comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's a she's my good friend after all. That's true. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Ethan. Huh? I love it. I have no idea you're such a good writer. Sayori. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. That's actually true. Um, I can't write any stories or anything like that because of the grammar of mine. Yeah, the grammar of mine will just ruin everything in the story. And I'm not good with poets either. Because you gotta actually rhyme with stuff. But I'm bad at... I mean, I'm good at rhyming. Like, rhyming, hyming, timing. But... Oh, I gotta censor that out. <laughs> I'm it. I am... Yeah, I already read that. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea... What I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Uh, are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Uh, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people you know. So when I so when I read your poem, it's just not a poem. It's an Ethan poem. Aw. I like her. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Uh -huh. I'm happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me how you really, how you're really a part of of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing, I'm standing in front of you in the classroom. Eh, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, Ethan. Deep down, you're not selfish after all, you know. Try new things like this for other people. That's something that other, that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. That again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Aww. To be honest, I don't know why I'm single. Eh, no one knows why either. 
Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be... That will be my way of thanking you. Alright. I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepies from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the, blue, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I, I trust you too. But if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Sayori? This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Oh uh, god, I'm being like my father now because when I sit, when he's asked me a yes or no uh, question, I just say a little bit, but that doesn't actually respond to the actual question. But yeah, back to the again. I forgot to do it uh, last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. I especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. Oh god, it's true. I I mean, is it I mean, I don't see people saying it's bad to skip lunch, not not lunch. Breakfast. But hey, I leave early. <sighs> okay. I get all cranky. Well, I guess that's no point in argument arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. Yeah. <laughs> This was so fun. My cuz. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. Next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. It's, yeah, we're gonna go down to order. Huh? Um... Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little plus. Well, excuse me, prince. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> it sounded like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? Uh, please. Please, day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I don't want to get smacked. I'll pass. Hmm. Well, anyways, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Cricket, yeah, crickets can leap. Owl, wait, horses can race. Our owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Okay, yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all... Oh no. Sci 
Oh, yeah, I feel you. And stuff! So people doesn't have a taste of my writing, seriously. But isn't that the point of po poetry? No, I'm poets? For people for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great stuff can be really disheartened. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I didn't really care how old everyone is. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I want to take that away from her. Okay. Yuri? Oh. Okay. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. M more than enough time f for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not... I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, right. Why do you ask? I'm, I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, uh I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't, haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Uh, right, um... It's just that there are... Uh, susp uh, there are... Uh, susp I can't even say that word anymore. Writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. True. And having, and having been through that myself, I, can't, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in the new writers is that they try to make their style very de uh, deliberate. I don't know. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and the form and fit the two together. The end result is that both of the styles and expressionness are weakened. Once y Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if she dem oh god demeanor total changes her stamina is uh, I don't know stamp meaner is completely gone and sounds like an expert of course that's not something you can blame for there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poet not just finding them as building them but getting them to work together is probably the the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it it all comes with practice and learning. But examples and mm, trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you f feedback. Yeah, of course. Natsuki can be a little bit and. Eh, 
base I don't know, hostile there. So, um, how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm sure if Yuri is apologizing to yourself to me or to Natsuki, do you mind if I... I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thoughts, my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare, um, rare for her. Okay. Which, it's, it is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? A ghost under the light. The trend of my hair illuminate, illuminate breath. I don't know. Beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The, the last yet to, re, to be replaced by the sickening blue and green hue of the future. I bathe. I, I calm breathing. Calm, uh, calm breathing air of the present but living in the past. The, f the light flickers. I flicker back. I I'm sorry. I have such terrible terrible hair handwriting what I wasn't thinking that at all but it took you a long time to read ah well I just don't read scripts very often I I actually think your handwriting is pretty huh that's a relief I also like the poem even though it's short it was very descriptive in this it wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time share, uh, sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Yeah, there. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Mm hmm. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Ethan. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I su suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their own work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or pan a pincher. In the case of perhaps the Oh, the subject of the poem is only being symbolized compared to a ghost. Licking in a leg, uh, fingering, lingering, yeah, in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more so than putting it that way I haven't I haven't even thought that of that that's impressive it's nothing really well it makes me happy that you think of that just remember that it won't it won't be longer before you pick up on these things too yeah maybe you're right I guess I'll keep I'll have to keep trying I'm counting on you Okay. Who? Yeah, we all know it's Monica. Okay. Hi, Ethan. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear. Oh, wait. <gasps> okay, there. By the way, since you're new in everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or new things we can do better I'm always listening don't be afraid to bring up things up okay alright I'll keep that in mind of course I'm I'll be afraid to bring things up I'm much I'm much better off just 
going with the flow until I'm more so in. Anyway, would you like to sh share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, Ethan. We'll we're all a little bearish today, you know. But it's it's that sort of bear. Yeah, bear. Uh, bear. I don't know the word. Wall, I guess there. That we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Uh, well, we might be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that might be the case, but remember, uh, there are a lot, also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even it shows you it in a different way, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that that's the kind of vibe I get from reading your poem. Um, you sure you're not reading into it too much? Uh, I, could, I could be. Oh my. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> but, in, but in any case, our Yuri's writing has kind of gentle. Uh, oh wait, but in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, with like happiness and sadness. Oh, Th that's good to know. Who knew that so so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to to each their own. You shouldn't and you shouldn't be afraid to experience a little bit, a little bit. Oh yeah, a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I get comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of ah uh, yes style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little be hostile towards their own kinds of style. <laughs> I like using hostile because of the picture all the poems are just killing each other. <laughs> but yeah, but to get back to the point, um, but I always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> uh, anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not that, I'm not very good. I'm. You sound pretty convinced for someone who claims to, to not, be very good. Well, that's cause I have to sound, uh, convinced or, com confident. I don't know. That doesn't mean I always feel the way you know. I see. Well, let's read then. Hole in the wall. It. It. Yeah. <clears throat> it couldn't have been me. Yeah, it it couldn't have been me. See the direct the direction the spankle produce and a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I never knew I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see it. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My retainers um, um, already scorched with a permanent copy of a meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into each other. A hole of infinite choices. Mmm. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in.
So, what do you think? Um, it's very f a f free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, th that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting, oh god, on time, on the timing between words and lines. Mm-hmm. And perform out loud. It can really be po really powerful. What was the in inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epilepsy. Oh no! Recently, it's been influenced my poems a bit. I don't know. What I'm saying epilepsy. It's not epilepsy, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Some Sometimes when you write a poem or a story, your brain gets too... Gets too Fix a nice on a suspect on a special suspect on a, on a point there. If you try if you try to make it perfect, then you'll never make it any progress. Don't just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tie it up later. Any way to think about it as this. If you Keep your pen in the same dot for so long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thank you for listening. Okay. I'm saving this because, um, sure. Pew! Um. Okay. <sighs> I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I uh, anti compare. I don't know. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre abil writing abilities. That's true. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is the literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that that's why I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes lay on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respectful poems. As they read into tandem, I watch, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's brow, eyebrows, uh, for a uh, four row in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Ah, uh, I mean, smiles sadly. Uh, what's with the language? Huh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki just missed return just necessarily returns the poem to the desk with one hand I guess you can say it's fancy ah thanks yours is cute cute did you completely miss the simple symbolist symbolize I don't know or something it's clearly about the feeling of giving up how can that be cute I, I know that I just meant the language, I guess. I was just trying to say something nice. Uh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Hmm. Well, I had... I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm? If I was looking for suggestion, I would have... Ask someone who actually liked it. 
which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. Ethan li did too. So based on that, I gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent I spent a a long time. Uh, uh my t my oh god my and stabilizing my writing styles there. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Ethan liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Sayori. Uh. Oh, shoot. That's not what I... Uh, you... You just... You... Yuri stands up... Stands up as well. I'm gonna check out my phone real quick. I'm sorry. I've been recording for an hour and it's fun. Okay. Maybe you just... Maybe you're just jealous that Ethan and Priestley... And... Uh, appreciates my advice more than he in, appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he doesn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh... No. If I was a full of myself, I would... To vibrate, I would go out uh, on my own way to make out everything I do over cutesy. <laughs> um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as a, as Ethan started showing off. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like this fighting, guys! Girls suddenly... Well, suddenly, both girls turn towards me! Oh! Oh, crap! Oh! Ah! <laughs> I just... I want that to get animated. <laughs> me getting attacked by little... By girls. Girls, I'm 16! Like, if you attack me, I'm calling the police on you! Okay. If they haven't just noticed I was standing there. Ethan! She's just trying to... To make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and... Learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective everything. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all come from- Oh god, my, my mouth. For no reason there. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not forcing them to have to figure it out. Okay then. Help me explain this- Explain that to her, Ethan. Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to comfort, expect feelings, and meaning the most, oh god, effectively. My throat is killing me. Affording, affording them is not not only necessary, limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that right, Ethan? Um, well! Uh, how do I get my trap? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they probably think more highly of me. Natsuki? Yuri? Sayori, help me! Natsuki! Uh, 
Ami Sayori. Uh, Natsuki glanced at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. Instead, I turned to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is to Funchless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori? Uh, yeah? Everyone's fine is making Sayori uncomfortable. How, how can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your, fan, your friend feel like this? Ethan? Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair to others to inject their own feelings into our com conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Sa Sayo yeah, not Sayori. Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she she's being. She would never. It's it's her, your in maturity that made her upset in the first place. <laughs> Reverse ball! Whoa, dab! Whoa! Excuse me, princess! <laughs> I love using that. Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why no one likes... Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their difference. Natsuki's poem. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poem are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented so why are we fighting maybe because well also it's Suki's cute and there's nothing wrong with, with that Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were big and beautiful I mean are you sure I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I'm if a girl or anyone watches this, and <laughs> and the only word they actually hear is booze, they're gonna just... <laughs> I don't know if that would just be me just being sexist or anything. <laughs> but hey, I'm a 16 year old. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to say sometimes. Plus, I'm a idiot, okay? Back to... <clears throat> Sayori. Sayori stand, stands. Monica stands behind her with the wild expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri. <laughs> Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, star staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to Netsuki. Monica. 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 Gonna turn off my lights and keep on saying Monica three times. She, nod, she nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm, I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to inject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can br blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is, is amazing in, in her own way, isn't she? You can say that. She might be a airhead, but sometimes it's we're weirdly suspicious suspicion that she knows exactly what she's doing. See, I see. Take care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes, that makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such a 
unique person really does make a good president regarding of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little a little more. Okay everyone. That's just about time for us to leave. How did you how did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Uh, well, I'll say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Ethan, what about you? Yeah, I said the same. It was a neat, a neat thing to talk about with, uh, with everyone. Awesome. In case, in that case, we'll do the same. We do the same thing. Uh, no, just in case. Oh, uh, sorry. Um. Okay, um, sorry. Oh no. Okay, there. In case we'll do that same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something f from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck that means I can at least do a, a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound uh, determination. Ethan! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Eee. Sayori beams at, at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I spent this much time time together. I, I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Huh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like this. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I can see why they make it. They make good friends with you. Phew. You. you know, Ethan, it's nice that I, I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone else is what makes you the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's, <laughs> every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an interner monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, happiness and sadness. Um, think, anxiety. No wait. No. Scars? Yeah. Pain. Um. Uh, bed. Or empty. It's empty, isn't it? No. Desire. Empty. There. Pro oh my god. Smile memory memories? Who? Uncontrolled. Um, embrace okay wow I agree no it's loud mm hmm friends uh, fantasy happiness wait 
You know I'm just gonna pick Sayori. You, you know that, right? She's just beautiful. Tears. Unstained. No. Death. Oh. Miss Fortune. Her. To see. To someone. Okay. Broken. Clum. Oh. Another day passes, and it's it's time for the club's meeting already. I got it a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Ethan. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Mm-hmm. I'm just still not used to to you being in the club at this that all. That's all. Oh, okay. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it always the simple things will always anyways. Speaking of I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Uh huh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh -huh. Why that all of a sudden? No reason. Really. I just really want to look at it. Ah, uh -huh. Sayori nervously receives her coin purse. She, she fumbles with the the latch and gets it open then she turns it upside down and lets its contents um, spill onto the desk only two small coins fall out <laughs> I knew it I can see right through you Sayori that's not fair how, how did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have brought a snack before coming to the classroom. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you just plan to completely forget that you spent all your, mo all your money so that I, I would let you, let you some. There's one more thing. You're always hungry, so, so, th and so, that only leaves the one option. Ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel gu guilty. Ha! You're suddenly, suddenly giggling. <laughs> huh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in the book as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Ethan to borrow me some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you, you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after putting a misfit like stunt like that yesterday, you suffer is suffering is is far enough. Ah, uh, Yuri. Uh, did I just? I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh, ah, uh, I re I really like when you're when you're speaking your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's that's no way you could think of that. You're right, though. I did something bad, and now I accept the revolution. Okay. Re re oh. Hmm. 
re oh yeah. That, still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, you you haven't come, have come, if, you haven't, uh, you wouldn't have come if you weren't, it weren't, if it weren't for the cupcakes, so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> oh, shee! Gah! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and trembles onto the desk. Ow! What's that? Huh? A cookie. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in a plastic. Siri, Sayori glances around. Is that a miracle? It's because I paid my resolution. <laughs> Re Re I don't I don't know how to say that word either. I'm not that smart. Actually that that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna gi give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. I was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Natsuki hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Oh, Sayuri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. <laughs> Sayuri suddenly claps her hands almost her mouth. It bit my kid! <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own. Uh, yours look really good too, Natsuki. Can I try again? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah. Why do you think I give you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Natsuki gets out of her chair, goes behind Natsuki, and then wraps her arms around her. Aw. Ah, uh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie, cookie still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nug uh, Sayori off of her. Oof! Sayori, Sayori suddenly leans down, takes a bite of Nat Natsuki's cookie. Uh, uh, hey! Did you... See if you just do that? Mm hmm My fault. Sayori crouts away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez. You're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Uh-huh. Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the classroom. Uh-huh. Where's Monica anyways? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Eh? Huh? You don't think she... She has a... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more spot desirable than all of us combined. Uh, true. That's true. Excuse me, princess! <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Huh? My god chose the club over her boyfriend after all? You're so strong welded Boyfriend? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Monica glanced at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up, anyways? 
Uh, well, my last period today was day haul. To be honest, I kind of just lost lost track of time. Okay, so uh, that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell rung at least. I'm I must not have heard it since I was practicing p piano. Piano. I I wasn't aware you play music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I just kind of just started recently. I o I always wanted to learn piano. That's cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That's cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In fact, in that fact, I won't let you down, Ethan. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I've been practicing a, a whole lot recently. And I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. And in I hear piano. Never mind. In that fact in that fact, best of luck. Thanks. So did I miss anything? Did I? N not 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 really. I chose to leave uh, Sayori's miss, uh, miss, uh, mistress, uh, accepts. I'm sure Nasuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has s already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her Taiyo cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Ethan, Ethan! Sayori, Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna get some supplies from the other classroom. Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up? Me and, me and Monica, Monica and I, you gotta be perfect grammar, Sayori. Monica, oh uh, wait, Monica and I, we're go going to make some poster and stuff. So, I, uh, so I need to go and find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. I see, sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Are you going with Ethan to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'll be happy to go with him. Oh, uh, but I wanna I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. Uh, okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find po poster paper too, okay? Okay! Ethan, ready? Yep, let's go. Yuri and, and I exit the classroom. I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips around the hallways. Honestly, it feels like I'm talking I'm talking a kid to a mall or something. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things to s sometimes. Hey Sayori, what exactly you are we doing for the festival exactly? I'm not sure how we would make a event out of literature. Yeah. Monica and I have it all. Ah! Okay. Have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're going to. We're going to do a poetry performance. A performance? Or of what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage. And uh, in re rehearse, I don't know, rehearse their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. 
Ethan, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading po po poets. It's about performing them. That's actually true. I'm like, you gotta have more. Like, you gotta be more alive for that. Like, you said the lines of the poem, like, between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, carrying it the the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what end have I summoned this joy? For now, for now, when I look in every direction, there, there once, perf uh, perf uh, uh, the I don't know that word. Feel before me is but a bared wasteland. Like that, Sayori. How do I put it this? I'm sure it's it's just me, but it's probably for me to take you seriously when you when you talk like that. Eh, you meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. I know, I know. I just meant it, meant it like it's a pretty unfortunate context to your cute self. Uh, don't say that, it's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Ethan, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission, huh? It's been a long time since I spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine drawing a happy vibe from the world around her. It's a pretty, um, feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. And go... So going to Fendering with Sire brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. Why did I sound so like... Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta take a breath. Oh god. The, the two of us entering the room. Sayori heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Grand! Sayori pulls a box full of clams off the shelf. The, they're the best brand too! They're kind of dirty though. Sayori starts pulling various, um, like pulling crayons out of the boxes, reading the crayon names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We need to find... Wait! I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. That at least more aside so I can't. Then at least move aside so I can find the poster paper. Ah, uh, I dropped one by accident. Ah! Gah! Sorry, bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She f falls to the ground in, in the cran spell on her lap. Ow, ow! You okay? My forehead! Sayori clutches her forehead. Gee, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Sayori is sitting on the floor. I grab her by the wrist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts! Just do it for a second. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, she slowly released her hand from her. Yeah, from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Uh, sorry. There's a huge red. Mu a. There's a huge red mark on the center of 
her forehead. Well, the years stop coming, the don't stop coming. The two worlds hit the ground running. Didn't make sense to live for fun. Oh, I, I miss rapping that. Oh my god. That bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's going to swell up. I should find you some ice. Ethan? Where, where would I even find ice in the, around this time? I guess a cold drink would do. I, I, you don't have to. I, I'm fine with... Uh, I'm just fine looking like a unicorn. Even from the pain, Sayuri makes a silly joke. Sayuri, you're beautiful. But I really don't want you to get hurt, to be honest. After all, what are you... Uh, wh what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I pat Sayuri on the sword, or ran out into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter, since it it will be used as the ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sayuri likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. In a, just a moment, I I'm already returned to the class where I left Sayuri. She has one palm on her forehead and using the other hand to come uh, clumsily scoop crayons back to the box. At least they are already in the wrong spots, but before I spilled them, Sayori here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sayori places the bottle against her, against the bump of her head. It stains. Just bear with it. It'll, it'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up before. Uh, most of the crants, so that's good. Hey, Ethan, this is this kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, you know how we used to play outside all the time. I would always try to keep you with, keep up with you, and you were kind of obvious in some in some ways. Like I usually felt behind behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did but sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't I would get myself hurt I fall and scra scrape and get or get a bump and I would cry very hard <sighs> you would rush over as quick as you can oh god sir you would try really hard to get me to get me to stop crying it would always it will always it was almost like you blame yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found, found out even though it was it really wasn't your fault at, at all you know did it did I really do that yeah you don't remember uh, come to think of it come, come to think of it maybe I do remember it but I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay atten I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like these things too. I'm having exciting now. Oh god. Uh, I'm having goosebumps. Why am I having goosebumps? Why am I having voice cracks? Okay, let's just continue. If I wasn't, uh, if I wasn't rushing you out, uh, out of the closet, closet, you wouldn't. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you wouldn't. You probably wouldn't have hit hit your head, Ethan. I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years, you're rushing to help me even though I'm just 
being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Don't don't call me that. And I don't and I don't really do these kinds of things all the time. I I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even knew it, I'm treating you like that. I guess uh, that's what happens when you be friend. You've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right, e Ethan. I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Don't you think it'll be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's n no telling where we'll each end up for college or after that. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm, I'm so happy Sayori has a expression in her eyes. She remain, remain, we remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when she, when I see her deep in, in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. Uh, I don't want to worry Monica, you know. Uh, good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead uh, either way. Not if I hide it uh, under my bangs. Okay. Sayori hops to her feet. Ah! She clutches for her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Ugh. Well, I guess it's it's too hard now. It's too late now. All right, let's go. I follow Sayori out of the classroom. Sayori plays with her veins to try to hide the bump, but without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the classroom. Ah, you're back. Good timing. I was just about ready to start sharing our poems. Uh, Sayori, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about. I was playing with a crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. <laughs> well, anyways. When you... Uh... Will you be able to find everything we needed? Uh-huh. I have it right. Uh-huh. Sayori glances around her. I forgot all the stuff. Calm down, Sayori. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. Ah. Sounds like you end up doing all the work, Ethan. Uh, well, Sayori. I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made an adventure. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, okay. In case, good job. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Are you are you ready to share your poems? I guess I I should grab mine. After making sure the cram box is closed tight, I return to my seat. Okay, it's Sayori. I, it always has to be sorry. Ethan, I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Um, I'm not hiding anything. But, your poems are so good. Yesterday's, and this one too. You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I mean, you, you're the really, you're really the only one who feels that way, so... Uh, no way. Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admire how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's 
It's a lot easier to wipe problems when I'm thinking about you. Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I, I just mean that you're really a... Ex... Ex... <laughs> like a person who's like actually excited a lot. Person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my... My own stupid life? But... You s somehow make everything in your life a adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking. Like cooking? Let's not talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings through you than I can through I can through myself. We can we have the kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting into my business after all. Uh -huh. I I don't think if I I, I don't think if I understand. You never understand when I try to explain things to you, don't you, Sayuri? I pet Sayuri's head. Uh, hey! I'm not kidding you now. Are you sure about that? Catch me outside! How about that? Oh, she's 15! Oh, how she does that! Big and Actually, that... I mean, it's normal. I mean, the age of 15... I mean, it's possible that she might be faking her age. The catch me outside girl who pretends to rap and everything like just leave the real rappers to their work not like Jake Paul rice gum and KSI and, and everyone else who's actually bad at rapping I, I mean I'm good with Jake Hill gotta love Jake Hill no this piece of that <laughs> okay let's go uh, maybe Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, Ethan, will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Uh, uh, why? Because, well, it's the first time you've written something for me. <laughs> hmm? Sayori, you complete, completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> Son, are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we get home. Really? Snap. Ah. Oh, wait, it's... Ow! Oh, frick! I broke my pencil! Oh, it's not that. Uh, Sayori has it... Has it believe bends down to grab a piece of she dropped but being in uh in oh god um like intentionally of her surrounding and she she bumps right into me this is so sorry it's fine it's fine I uh, I'll give you it I'll get it for you I bend down pick and pick up the broken pencil Cyrus clutches the table beside her to support her knees shaking uh, I, I'm I'm a little clumsy today <laughs> let's sit down Sayori yeah I grab Sayori's hand and help her sit down anyways I haven't read your poem yet oh sorry I forgot about that but it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Bottles. I pop off my scab like the lid of a cookie jar. It's like it's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I, I reach inside with my thumb and fourth finger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put a, a put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on a shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in the bottle, all in a row. My collections makes me lots of friends, even bottles 
our starlights to make em immense. Okay. Uh, sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle she will feel that day. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my finger goes, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scabbing and scab wait, scrapping, scrapping and scrapping. I blow dust. I blow dust off of my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like the time X slaps. My empty ship should. My empty ship could use more. Some. Use some more. My friends look through my. My locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and. In come my friends. In. In the. Yeah, in. In they come. In such a hurry. Do they really want my bottle that much? I frack I pull them for the shelf, one after the other, holding them out of re out to each and every friend and each and every bottle, but every time I let one go, it shatters against the tiles between my feet. Happy faults, happy faults, happy faults in the shards. Although the floor, they're supposed to be my, for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling, they're all shouting, pleasing something, but all I hear is echo, echo, wait, echo, 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 in my head. It's actually good. Holy crap! Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I didn't mean... I mean, I didn't expect something like this com coming from you. Medica taught me a whole, a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings ri lately. I see that. It's, on it's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. So, you should be a proud of yourself. Aw, thanks. Okay. Okay. I like that. I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is a... It's like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yay! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die! Okay. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this one... I wonder if this is one of the those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be... That word? Oh. It's not... It's not Suki's turn. Hmm? I like your last one bit. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I can tell you, you were a little more daring with this one, but you're really not good enough for that yet. It felt flat. That might be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring this all out. I mean, I, I always like poems that aren't trying too hard. I, I hear when people try to sound fancy or add more meaning just by using annoying and complicated language. Just make a simple cue and, and, and to that point. Yuri's head over the heels for all this this nonsense but 
I see you right through that BS. Ha! Making your reader look so hard for all these deep meanings is just an excuse to have no meaning at all. I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, everyone has their, their own opinion, but my opinion is the best. I'm sure you figured that out already. Uh, anyway, here's my poem. Maybe you learned something. Oh, Amy's like spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wiggy, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why, why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. Plus, she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy really helped me and took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Maybe this quote unquote friend is basically Yuri. Mm. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends started to, to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has a, other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better without, better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Oh, f oh heck. Oh, cra I, I, I'm agreeing with, like, Nexuki here because I don't like spiders, too. I'm afraid of, like, going to Australia. No, no offense, Jazza. I, 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 I like Australia. Like, I've never been there before, but it sounds like a good place. But I just don't like the spiders. Like, they can kill you. All the spiders. I had to learn a whole book about spiders. They can all kill you, except for, like, day long legs. They're cute and adorable, but when you're made of babies, day long legs, they're gonna just, like, climb inside you and lay egg. Wait, I'm talking about alien right now. Yeah, let's go. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. Uh, in this poem. Yeah, I can see that. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with more simple analogs. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone who agree that the subject of the, the, this poem is a it's an interactive, or it's a jerk. Do you, do you know people like this? Of course. It's, it's, it's about how everyone thinks my, that doesn't matter. It can't be about anything. It can't be anything. I read it to be easy, to, to relate to everything. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilt pleasure. Like a fetish. I mean, I don't get a fetish. I don't. I don't even have a fetish. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I do. I gotta think that tonight. Like, do I have a fetish? But then I go to school, tell my friends out loud, do I have a fetish? They're all gonna look at me saying, "You one sick, you're one sick person." And then they're gonna all gonna walk away. And and here comes the anxiety. Yay! Okay, let's go. Something that you're afraid if people find out they'll make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what they like as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I, I, I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. You're, well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that and I'm sure a lot of other people can too it's 
it's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like emotions are is important. I, I'm like comforting um emotions, yeah. I mean yeah, like that's a point too to be honest, but mm. But I want to keep to I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that, I will. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to the to it. I used to be cheerful. Um Yuri. Let's see what you're writing today for today. Um Well done, Ethan. Your skills are already improving. Really? Uh thanks, Yuri. Coming for you, that means a lot. Uh, it it's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, and so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a, a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long, go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. I mean. Watching too much cartoons, seeing all the gears form in your head from Patrick, makes me think that we need to have those, actually. Like, when the gears stop, we just be idiotic. Well, I'm happy we don't have gears because, well, we could just keep on saying, wait, we could just talk about smart stuff. Try, try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly able your reader to see into your mind. It's a, it's a very in, intimate exercise. I see. That's a certain interesting technique. Interesting. Thanks for sharing. I have um, well, a example of that. If you would like to read it, of course. Is it the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods. And Timly hand, Timmits, Timly, I can't, uh, hands me the po her poem, okay. The raccoon, <laughs> the raccoon, and it happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the, by the sl Slut cutting of a raccoon outside my window. That uh, that was, I believe, the first. Okay, back eh? The first time I noticed my strange, my my strange tenant as a ordinary human. <laughs> I I can't do that accent. Oh, wait, can I? I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna scroll down so I can just. I give the raccoon a piece of bread. My sub, con, uh, con, I don't know. My well awareness of the con, constant, con, I don't know. Con, uh, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The beauty of my cutting knife was the, system, was the, system. I don't care anymore. The bread was. The bread, the bread, my hunger, curiosity, the raccoon, uh, urge, the moon, it's, uh, it's, uh, I guess, the moon, it's phase and, and reflects that more, much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of the raccoon friend, I slice the bread fresh and soft the raccoon became becomes excited uh, I'm perhaps I'm I'm projecting my emotions onto the well this newly satisfied animal okay the raccoon has taken taken to follow me 
you could say that we got quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hu hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always ha handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic condition. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Oh sh Um I was a, a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorically I don't know if it's my fault, but I I can't begin to imagine what this poem is is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to Are you talking about Bob Ross? A uh, girl, you don't talk about Bob Ross that way. He can tell you everything. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying sorry a lot. I'm just laughing to myself. <laughs> using the canvas, uh, using the problem as the canvas to express a, f a image, and 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 conferring like emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at if I take it at face value, that I couldn't even figure out what it's supposed to to mean. Well. I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Knives, of course. You have a weird fetish about knives, dude. It's though sorts of things I'm sorely forced to keep myself Oh, so I I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Uh huh? That's funny. Hmm? Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone about ridiculously about oh uh, for a strange interest? Huh? She did it. Yeah. She was talking about how. It doesn't matter what you're into as long as you don't hurt any. If you're not hurting anyone. She's right. And I mean it. Does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. To me, she seems like the kind of person who would like to make fun of my hobbies. But. I'm supposed that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Uh, my. Uh, please don't tell her that I say that. Uh, don't worry. I have, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I haven't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I wouldn't probably hate myself. I'll probably be ranting up a little bit. A little bit now but I'm glad that you're a good listener okay no. Monica hi again Ethan how's the right writing going all right I guess I'll take that as long as it's not going bad I'm I'm happy that you're applying yourself maybe soon you're you'll come up with a masterpiece uh, I, I want to count on that. <laughs> you never know. Want to share what you, uh, you wrote for today? Sure, uh, here we go. I gave my poem to Monica. All right. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori. Like the other one that you wrote? You two are like the, like the dramatic duo. Uh, that's kind of ex, uh, uh, like, uh, 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 yeah, probably. But you do 
spend a lot of time with her, even in this class, don't you? Then, then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I, I'm not shy, it's just, uh, I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone, but Yuri and Natsuki are super interested people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can tell, talk to me every now and then too. I'm not like approaching uh, or anything, am I? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not like that. I'm just still getting used to being here. That's all. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry if I. I was putting pressure on you or something. I did didn't mean it like that. It's okay. No, don't don't worry. I get what you're saying. <laughs> well, all right. Well, anyways, you want to read my poem? I like the way this one turned out. So I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. The cut. The colors. They won't stop. Bet on bright brother color flashing expanding Okay Percing red and green and blue and endless I can't even send that uh, Red and green and blue and endless Something of meaningless noise a noise Oh the noise it won't stop Fi violence Game waveforms squeak squeaking screeching piercing sh shame cooking uh, uh, like plant like plant a chalkboard on a turntable okay oh god it actually hurts oh god that that was just oh plant a chalk oh that oh god I'm now hearing that now like that would actually hurt like plant a oh no a final on a pizza crust. I mean, yeah. A endless mean of a poster of meaningless. Load me. Um. It was more abstract than your last one, huh? Uh huh. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never say that. It's just a kind of thing I never really seen before, I guess. I I kind of like playing with my space of the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can tr uh, totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what's it about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as a track. Ab abstract, uh, I don't care. As a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not even a poem is about everything, uh, about something. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of, of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. my anxiety oh my god yes finally Thanos saved me oh my god Thanos tweeted in months Fortnite should add prop hunt my MLG career needs it okay yeah Fortnite should actually add that Oh god, my 
Uh, wait, what was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Don't forget. Um, you never know what, when you might ch change your mind, or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is that a tip uh, even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Um, that's, uh, we're all done reading each other's poems, ready. All right, uh, not ready, all right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come, uh, sit at the front of the room, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can't put together anything good in just a few days. It'll en just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do... Uh, I don't really do well with last minute impairments. Yeah, me either. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We would need much more... Okay, we just need more f few decorations. Sayuri has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we could give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? B -b Monica? Well, we're, we're going to be having a poem. A poetry. Oh, no. Each other are are going to going to choose a poet to Oh god. Uh oh god. Recite uh re rehearse there. During the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and and re and, and practice poems too. Sayori's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare it ahead of time. Uh-huh. Sayori who's been coloring a, a poster it holds up for us to see. Are you kidding me Monica? You didn't. You didn't already start putting those posters up didn't you? Oh uh, well I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But, I didn't sign up for this, you know. This is no way I'm gonna, I'm gonna inf to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Imagining it. Yuri's shaking her head in fear. Guys. No, Sayori. I understand what they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri had never shared their poems with anyone just until uh, until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot of ask for them to rehearse their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so uh, I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the faith of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, 
but then it would inspire um, things, oh, inspire others to do the same. Okay. And the, oh God, the more people who perform, the better we be able to show everybody, everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It's about exp expressing your feelings. Being imitated with yourself. Finding a new horizon. And having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we'll all have in this club. Don't you want... Do you want to share that with it? With it? With with others yeah I'm sorry to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place I know you do I know we all do and if all t and if all takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes rehearsing a, po a poet that I know you can't do with Nesuki and Yuri remained silent. Yur Sayori looks worried. I guess they le they leave me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think Say I think that Sar Sayori and Monica have been trying very hard to get new members. That the least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but. It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it. Oh, God. Nothing. Um, I guess I just had to get it over with. All right. Phew. Thanks, next Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri de uh, dejects his glares around at everyone's faces. I guess I don't have a choice. Ah, ah, that's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! The club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway... Let's move on, the, on to the main event. I want every, each of one of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice rehearsing them in front of each other. No way! Monica! That is too sudden. Well, if you can't rehearse your poet in front of the club, how do you expect to do in front of strangers? Oh no! Don't worry. I'll stand. Uh, I stand. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips around her notebook to the poet she has in mind for herself. She then stands. Uh. She then stands behind the bottom? I don't know. The poet, uh, the title is, the title of this poem is, is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica starts rehearsing her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflections is parent. She knows exactly how to imply emotion behind each line she rehearses. I I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. But yeah, bringing the words to life. Is, is this something she's done before? Or is it she's simply in a, a nature? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has a tense oppression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finished the rehearsal. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. 
That, uh, that, that was good, Monica. Uh, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. I, I, are you ready to go up next, Sayuri? I, I'll go next. Ah, Yuri's fire up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper behind her, be, between her hands, and she stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly onto the, I guess, stage. I don't know. The poem is called Yuri X. Oh, God, I feel her. Glance at each of us. You could do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crime. A crimson eye. Yuri voices shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she pr she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting it so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice is strange. It almost it's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her book. Her words transform into the sharp syllables. Oh, the fierce and confident woman. The the poet is full of twists and turns in its structure that she she in 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 it. Uh, I did it had to be hard wording of this game uh, with time or perfect timing there. That this must be a rare glimpse into the into the fire. Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she finished. Everyone is stunned. Everyone snaps back into re- Snaps back in- Wait. And snaps back to reality. Oops, they are go gravity. Oh, crap, I'm saying it wrong. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewiles even herself. Uh, I- it's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. <laughs> Woo! Everyone joins me afterwards, and we give Yuri the recognize she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we m must have forgotten. As we improv, she holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really great. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess it's m m my next then. Yuri hops out of her chair and, and cheers for you walks. Oh my god, this one's called Ma Mendo. Ah. Uh -huh. Ha. Sorry, I giggled. Ha. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, Yuri. It's a lot harder than I thought. Uh, how did you get your... How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, uh -huh. Just try not to... Try not to think of it like you're rehearsing to another person. Imagine you're re rehearsing it to yourself. Like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it comes out the best the way. I see, I see. Okay then. Yuri begins her poem. Somehow it begins like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The, the, po the poem isn't aimlessly cheerful like Sayori is. It's sentry and bin, uh, bitter sweet. If I weren't to, if I were to read this on paper, I wouldn't think of this of it much. I don't know. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I can get a reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finished, and we implod. Whoa! She's my best friend, y'all! Okay. I did it. I did it! Good job, Sayori. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, you, 
even Ethan liked her. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, man. Just what did that even mean? It's just me in the corner screaming. It came out nicely, Sayori. The asthma, the asthma spear of that poem, Atmo spear of that poem fits you very nicely. But it might be that other poet poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, I don't really really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that that sort of gentle delivers when it work work wouldn't work as well. They might they might need a little bit more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the, the next time I'm going to give you the next time I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenge you a little a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay, now who's next? Nasuki? Um mm, Don't make me Don't make me go before Ethan. It's not like I, I can compare to you guys anyways. Might as well let Ethan lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Nasuki. It's fine, it's fine. Fuck ye. No! No! <laughs> I swear! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I step up. I stand up and stand in front of the platoon. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I rehearse my poem. Since I'm not actually confident in my own writing, it puts to I it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that that once I finish I receive pause anyways. Uh, sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it too much. I think it's less about your ability and more about your lack of confidence is in your in your reading. Yeah. That's true. My heart. That's that's what that's that's something that proved over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves it you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki but, uh, gets out of her chair, out of her seat. Makes her way to the pod them or something like it. The stage. The poem is called It's called Why are you all looking at me? Because you're pre- Presenting it. <clears throat> the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts rehearsing the, the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she she's still a little uh, interused for uh, her poem has a a a rhyme and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down and if given life to the poem um, Natsuki finished and everyone applause. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't too bad, wasn't it? Easy for you to say. You better you better not make me do that again. Uh, well, do you at least feel prepared at least to rehearse a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be 
way be way easier. I could put on whatever face I can I want for the other people people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so well I guess in that case you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That to say, I want to thank everyone for coming though. It might be hard, but I, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem, get enough practice for the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so, so let me know ahead of time what you been rehearsing. Oh, jeez. I should probably find some other poems to rehearse instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasant surprised that you're putting in all of this effort for the club. It makes me very happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. See, I won't say no problem. I'll say, yeah, you're, you're welcome. See, because no problem is just rude. Why am I being, like, is this my other ego, just me being rude to everyone? Like, the real me, I'm, a, I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. I mean, as a friendly, like, or, like, I'm nice to people, okay? Sometimes I have anxiety, sometimes I have, I have, like, some, like, I'm sometimes disabled, okay? Like, early disability. Development, and I was I was just born early. That's all. But somehow, this year just was amazing. Minus Logan, the Logan Paul Suicide Forest thing. But hey, it's it was so good. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I'm gonna save because I'm tired. Okay. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'll like to continue that. As for the festival, the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow. And we'll have the weekends to prepare. Monday's the big day. Can't wait. I, I can do this. I can do this. Uh, 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 I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same in, like that as Sayori and Monica. But I'll do my best to get through. If it's for the sake of the club impressing Monica then I have to do my best ready to go Sayori yep look at you two always going home together like that it's kind of adorable isn't it jeez eh. guys don't make such a big deal out of it it'd be it be it must be a little nice though well uh how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Ethan. You don't have to say it. Say it. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go already. I welcome with Sayori one. Say Sayori once once more. Even though it's only been a few days and of things have already changed, but t today Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing now. Oh no wonder. Hmm? I was just thinking about something from earlier. I like how we we get to I mean Sayori fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day you ask you're asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What, what kind of question is that? 
you're kind of putting me on the spot here. Uh, see, we gotta go with, like, this cute little girl here. Also, welcome, Sayori. Say you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But, she's beautiful and smart, jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Ethan. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted so. Sayori, I already made up my mind. I really can't figure out. I, I, I can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in in something that never going to happen? Huh? The conversation trails off. It's kind of weird. Say, it's a kind of weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what is, oh, what will happen in that to uh, in that time? Okay. Shame. Um. Wonderful. No. Skipping. No. Clumsy. Forget. Forgive. Sticky excitement. No. Uh, hopeless. Suicide? No, it's not suicide. Decide. Pain. I'm afraid. No. I don't want to. Not. I gotta keep on going. Venture. Um. Tragic. Massacre. Um. Depression. Special games bring uh, acceptance ribbon. Um, fuck. Why am I swearing? Cry. Memories. Death. last one here again don't worry uh, don't worry I just walked in too were you practicing p piano again yeah uh, you must have a lot of determination starting this club and now picking up the piano well maybe not determination but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be be here if it wasn't for all of you. All of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ha! I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great, huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Uh, well, yeah. Not, I'm not talking about our our part our, of the festival, but it's the whole school day where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious foods. You sound like you sound a bit like Sarori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid 
squid. That's a pretty suspic a specific. Finally, I said the word. Thing to look for. Yeah, to look for. Oh come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You and all people. Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you all people? You of all people. Because it's right in your name. Monica. <clears throat> That's not how you say my name. Also, that joke doesn't make sense in translations. Huh? Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just get focused on our own offense for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reaction ain't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyways. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyways? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at, at a desk in the corner looking down at nothing. Walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I, I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing now again. Huh? Ah, uh, sorry. Don't mean... Uh, don't mean... Uh, don't mind me. You could go talk to everyone else. Uh... Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you're you're worried too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori so shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Uh well, alright. If you say so. I worry wor worry glance I just glance at Sayori before turning back to everyone towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispired with that one back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she knows anything about Sayori recently. They've been preparing for the festival. They must be spending a lot of time together. I typically approach Monica who is su suffering through some papers at her desk. Ethan, what's up? Hey, there... This might sound in, in a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In in what way do you mean? I mean, I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I unnoticed an anything about her. Monica pe uh, peers across the room at Sarori who is utterly drag dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Ethan. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bother her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I... I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew. So, I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a, a hard time bringing it up with the people of interest. People of interest. What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Ethan. Me? How on earth? Would you come to that inclusion? Well, I'm pro I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Huh? She pr she's been so much happier since you joined the, the club. 
It's like an extra light was turned on, on inside her. What? No way. Sorry is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not a different. It's not any different now than it's been has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Ethan. How have you? Have you thought that maybe you always seen her as so cheerful because that's ju that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh, I talk. I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't jump to inclusion, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for it for now. Ah, uh, all right. Micah smiles meanfully. I know she said to forget it, forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up for her desk and walks across the room. The room to where Sayori is is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she, she's keeping her voice so quiet that I couldn't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to to do when she's behaving like this exactly how much do I care about her that uh, that I'm letting this weigh me down so much now it's like I'm the one behaving out on of the ordinary I could say that right this episode is just gonna be this whole entire gameplay is just gonna be me uh, like just me just knocking all the like why I'm saying this right but there's nothing I could besides wait for Monica. Okay, everyone. After some uh, some time passes, Monica calls out to the classroom. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know, I before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to receive their poems, and I do the same. I make. I caught in talk with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Yuri. Yuri? Love me! Mm. This is your best so far. It's really nice, Ethan. Uh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Uh, of course! Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to take a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Ethan. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or Netsuki's. But in the end, yeah. I guess the one who likes the most, this one the most, why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else. Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you, you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with you, well, with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you but we have a wavelength or something and and this is this is how the poem came out sometimes it it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life so some sometimes it's easier to write than thinking about you Sayori N no Ethan I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this to me? Sorry, it has trouble keeping her voice steady. All of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori! I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed. Sayori. I probably never said this before, but 
I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Oh. Oh, God. Dex, that makes me what will cheer, cheer you up. Oh, God. Cyrus shakes her head. She sniffs and keeps shaking her head. She gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Ethan. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry, you had to see to see that. I promise it won't happen again. Just smile for everyone, okay? That all that's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit earlier today. Sorry. To Monica, I, I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I, I can't say anything now, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Hmm. <gasps> Meh. I guess you really have learned you haven't learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I got my hopes up in the first place. What? I don't think this one was the was that bad. What did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express some some something. It it's going to sound like you're forcing it unless you you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. N Nasuki stops short all of a sudden. Don't tell me, huh? You're n you're not you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What? Why are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You, you know, Yuri would love this kind of, this angry Just because she, she's a talented writer doesn't mean, I mean, yeah. Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve. Though, what I, what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem. I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem and if you wrote it for someone else, just don't, just don't show it to me. Ouch. Oh God. This is all I get for letting a young girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was intent. Yeah, it sense to be in a world of pain for the start. Unless, ne unless Nat Natsuki was wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Uh, Monica, I guess. Hi, Ethan. Have you thought about what you you want to submit at the? festival well being this club is one thing but performing in front of a bunch of people I'll have to give it some more tonight okay no pressure but whatever you do I'm sure it turned out great it also it also it would also make me happy to to see Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem the poem I I'm holding in my hand. Haha. <laughs> it's kinda funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean it's funny how your poem and Sayor's poem have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. 
Then again, you've been spending a lot, a lot of time together lately, have you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as fr best friends, I haven't been, been seen as much of her this past year. But since I joined lit the, this club, uh, we've been sp spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me about how Sayori's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well, Ethan, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. All right, just make sh just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be a terrible if something bad that happened to her. So keep an eye on her. Sayori has been acting so much happier since you joined the club. How could... Hmm. How could have... Yeah, that's a good question. How could have happened all of the sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyways, I'll show you my poem with you now. Uh, alright? Oh. The lady who knows everything. A old tale tells a, of a woman who wanders <laughs> earth. The lady who knows everything. A, a beautiful woman who has found every answer, all the meaning, all the purpose, and all that w was ever salt, sought. And here I am, a feather. Um, look, lost adrift, the, the sky victim of the currents of the winds, day after day, I search. I search with a little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when I, but all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the, le the legend is all that remains. The last dim star gims is the twilight the twilight sky until one day the sky creases to blow I fall and I fall and fall and fall even more gentle as a feather a dry quote expressionless but a hand catches me um between the thumb and the forefinger the hand of a beautiful woman I looked at her eyes and found, and find no end to her gaze. The woman who knows every net, uh, who knows everything, knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer of all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. All we are seeking, all we seek, only the impossible I'm I'm not your legend your legend doesn't exist and the, and with a breath she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gaze of wind you know I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning not to get too physical or anything but it's but it was kind of of my mind so that's what I wrote about I see I never really put my put much thought into that and the way it's a, almost a, pill, a pill of dox because we we all have the answers we won't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I notice. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about the thing that are more are more sad than happy. Uh, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we won't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans are aren't too dimensional 
creatures. Um, I think you know the better than anyone. You mean one dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you even too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be just hard to get a, 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 a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Be, be, because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, or okay or bad, They'll focus, they want to focus more on everything that everything into it. And the things you can work on, it's much more encouraging um, the way, and it's way uh, make, make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Can I skip? Oh. Well, well done, Ethan. You definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Have my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Share, sharing our writing like this. It's a little bit more fun and rewarding than I am compared. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. Now, but now it seems like everyone is is everyone is enjoying sharing their own writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing could be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned about anything about yourself, Ethan? Huh? when you know how how I like how how I like to say that writing is a, per, a very personal way to get in touch with yourself in the end it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer and even my opinions are just opinions you know as always I believe what's more important is expo exploring and and discovering yourself that that's come that's come front um yeah i'm afraid of disappointing of you in in some way of other huh why me well you're always so physical with your writing and have the more more and have the most advice to share is that show you thinks for a good minute uh that might be a terrible huh for me to have become someone whose opinion uh, is fearsome. How, like, oh god. <sighs> Yuri, it's not like that as you're making it sound in your head. It just meant that I'm, I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. I, I, overthinking, being disliked, Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Dear. I, I. I'm sorry. I like it. Um. I'm aware that the beach. Of 
Oh god. Uh, is kind of of a thing to write about. But I did my best to take metaphor approaches to it. You said you say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Nat, Natsuke and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuke wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I see. Natsuke didn't even let me read her poem, so I don't have much to contribute. I suppose to better compare the the differences in our writing styles of fall uh, process of after after yeah um uh, yeah it was her idea knowing her it was no surprise she wanted to do something like that she probably just wanted to show off it's not like I I had a pr I had a pr oh yeah I just wanted with her request but I was supposed to, it's not so bad to write about some something similar of the vacation it's cuz being ref refresh refreshing uh, uh yeah you know yeah no I know I'll be right back Okay, I'm back, and it's good for me to calm my thoughts um, once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You defense defend defensively from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. What is the mood? What is the mood? So weird today. Look, Yuri isn't immune to it. Um, uh, air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is going about to happen in your book maybe in your books maybe look the only thing different is that Say Sayori isn't here ah it seems you're right uh, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit doesn't she it almost feels like everyone's balancing Everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyways? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, 
Actually, she actually wasn't feeling too well and she went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright, seriously. All this time to not go home with her? You pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of, she's kind of avoiding me today. So I don't want to force it. Oh, oh. The, cur the curious expert is coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I asked to her... I uh, talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did you say? Anyway, you need to figure out the rest of the festival patients, so... Let's decide what everyone will be deciding this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. That's right. Netsuki will be making cupcakes, but she might need a little... a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki will be helping me design them. And as for you, S y Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, you can help me come with, uh, can you guys help me come up with something for Sayori? I, I'm useless. No, that's not, uh, no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? No, no. Now, Natsuki's pouting now. Jeez. Even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I, I can say, I can tell things are, are being harder on you when she's not getting around, huh? That might be the case. Uh, but if I, but I can't also be the leader of the, of my own, then I can't grow as a person. So Sayori? You have beautiful handwriting, you know, so you should be more, so you sh so, sh so sh you should make more, make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere, atmosphere, um, about that, I like atmosphere, your expression suddenly changes as she stared at, at her desk in focus and she starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. I've been saying her name the whole time wrong. Yuri. Sayuri, Sa 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 oh my god. But anyways, that just leaves you, Ethan. The one who is truly useless. Ah, uh, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy task to handle it would probably go a long a long way to give one of them a hand you could always help me out as well I can uh, appreciate it ah uh, that's is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of the club members how on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that ah uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a a bit of help. Well, if well, even if you don't know how to bake, that's always some dirty work. I can give it to you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a, a choice, and y you should be sitting on your bub in a way. Natsuki tries to mumble as much of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the bacon on your own. Ethan may not like to be around me if you are only going to make out to a O. Oh. So therefore, he would be more suited, suited, yeah, to assigned with the decorations. Hold on, I never say that. How hard could it be to make a 
few decorations anyway. Somehow. Some more like you, you're trying to make excuses for Ethan too. Uh, what are you saying? It'll be ex, be extra, extra. Oh, never mind. Work, and baking is it? Just what do you think, guys? Guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Ethan to say how he liked to come. Yeah. Besides. He hasn't got any chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in you. Literally just said, "I'm surprised as well." I'm sorry, sorry. I I'm just saying though. Jeez, can we just handle this already? Yeah. You think you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Uh, very well. In, in that case, everyone's looking at me. Oh no. I mean, if it's going to be someone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and. But Monica said. Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean it for that to be difficult. I, I, well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yeah, you picked me. Hold on one bit. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the less help out of all of us. Uh, but I think with Natsuki, I agree. Not only is your help already most suitable for one person, but you ha already have Sayori as well. But Ethan was the one who... Ah. That doesn't matter. You weren't the person who scarred him into picking into it. You're the class president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decision for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any... Oh, no. Um, what? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones who are... Oh, no. Excuse me, princess. On her eyes. The... This wouldn't... Wouldn't have been... Been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's commonly fault, Monica. Yeah. You have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as well. We we won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our offense to assess, then we need to appropriate tribute our resources. Um. Uh. And are, and are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. Secondly, oh no. Most, um, so. Okay. Well, bacon sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work. So, it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Bacon is it's a ton of fun. You, you're definitely agreed. Huh? Just a minute ago, you were saying, That's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway. You'll be fine by yourself. All right, Yuri. Of course, I'm used to it. After all, that's good. Even the Yuri is being. Oh God. So that's everything, right? Everything else we'll need to talk about. Now I think that's it. Are we? Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything except the 
performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Ethan? Me? I guess I could be interested to see how it turns out. That's enough for me. What about Yuri? Yuri? She's still slogging. Um, okay, Natsuki starts pouting too. Okay, I'm not like a father of this relationship or anything. Um, yep. Really? Oh, sorry. It's not, I mean, it's not like a big deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I, th I think that Sari might just be feeling a little underappreciated in, in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offered to help. That doesn't mean... <clears throat> Natsuki gl glares back and forth between everyone. Okay. Look. Natsuki goes over and puts out her hands on, on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are, are the most talented one here. And you're going to help make the festival a lot more fun and welcome. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too but you're gonna make the atmosphere amazing that'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performance so you, you don't need to stop being dumb and giving yourself a little more credit as Suki releases her arms and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't you didn't ring met that, didn't you? Hmm? Not really, but Yuri isn't the only one who's surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by um Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all the people to be su oh god. Such in encouraging things but I begin to understand Natsuki will uh yeah will Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori even if it didn't work out perfectly I could tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a town like this Sayori something Sayori because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about it um, yeah. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm gonna do my best. And all of you are going to make it a real, a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone to uh, do their best. But with, with that, there's nothing more for today. So, I guess it's time for us to move out. Head out. Okay, Bun, staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough. There's no nothing worried with that. Everyone's packing their things. I started to follow Monica and Nira out the door as they chatted between each other. Um, where are you going? Uh, we need to figure out our plans for this week. You literally your Larry would got gotten home and realized you, that you didn't even have any, any way to contact to me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea that how that slipped my mind. Oh, geez. Good thing I stopped you. I'm going to give you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Mm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll 
I'll bring in all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping you, I was going to go to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict, if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I'm going to do anything when my dad is home. Anyways, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all we need from you. I'll text you... Um, I guess I'll text you when I, I come over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So, you better be looking forward to it. Oh. Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just just saying that it's not like I couldn't act like in front of everyone. That I was just looking forward to it. This, wait, really? What? What kind of? Just because I never baked with someone else before. That that's all it is. So, all right, I get it. So, sorry for overreacting. Anyways, I'm heading out right now. I'll see you on Sunday. Ah, never mind. I can't believe this. Yasuki is go uh, um, going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Although, I wouldn't have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety will sh still shoot through the roof. I guess I got pretty used to handling her at this point but who knows what might end up happening in school she even told me she was was going to even look I shake my head why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this it's not like we feel that way about each other besides like Monica says this is about the club I have nothing to worry about if I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Yep, and gonna wait till day two.